Hello! Today we're going to be coloring the rock-faced cliff that we completed earlier in another video. We're going to use Woodland Scenics Earth Colors to do this with. These are highly concentrated pigments, so the first step is diluting them. Woodland Scenics recommends a 16 to 1 dilution for the secondary colors and a 32 to 1 dilution for the primary color. I like a little bolder color, so I'm going to be using 12 to 1 for my secondary colors and 24 to 1 for my primary colors. And once we've got the cliff all stained with the pigments, the next step will be sealing it with Woodland Scenics Scenic Cement. We'll mist the whole cliff. After that has dried, we'll do one last wash, a black wash, at the same 16 to 1, or actually 12 to 1 ratio that we used for the earlier ones. So, in just a few easy steps, you'll see how we can stay in a cliff and make it look very natural. So hang on, we'll get started right away. And we start out by using the lightest of the secondary colors, which in my case would be raw umber, then the darker secondary color in the leopard spotting, and then we go with the primary color and we cover the entire surface. So that's where we're going to start out. Hold on, we'll get right back and start putting the colors onto the rocks. Spilling one of these washes somewhere where I don't want it could really spoil my day, so I've got them uh, put in a container that will uh, collect any spills, hold any spills, so that it doesn't get loose onto the layout. I'm going to start with the lightest of the colored washes, and that is my umber. So raw umber. I'm going to start just dabbing it on here and let it run down. I've covered the lower part of the uh, backboard below on the landscape with uh, some plastic and also some absorbent towels so that if anything does get loose it won't go very far and uh, inevitably it'll be a little bit of splatters but uh, I can I could live with a few splatters just not with uh, the whole thing being splattered so that will give me a beginning with the raw umber and now we're going to move on and we'll try to do the same thing with our secondary, our second secondary wash, which is the black. And I'm just going to put this on here and try to get it in some spots where I didn't get the raw umber. But I want to make sure I leave some white spaces because those white spaces will then absorb the primary pigment when I get started with that. So we're going to continue to do this all over the layout all over the backboard here and the outcome of that should be something that we really are going to appreciate when it's done. Now we'll move on to our primary wash which is the stone gray and I'm going to try to get the stone gray over everything. This will take a little bit more time and a little bit more effort because I don't want to end up with um, too many bare white space is what I'm done. A few is okay because I'm going to come back and cover the whole thing with a black wash after I've done the initial seal with the uh, scenic cement. Uh, once that's, that's the kind of the next step after we get through with what we're doing here now is I'm going to come back and put scenic cement over the whole thing. I've got a loose stone there and I got to think about what I want to do about that, if anything. I may just leave it like that and let it get covered up when I do the uh, landscaping on here in a little while. But as you can see, once we do this and put the primary color on here, it really will start to blend in the whole layout. So everything will start to look more even and everything will start to look more natural as we go along. So that's it for our primary and secondary washes. My final wash is the same 12 to 1 mix that I used for my secondary washes before. This final wash is an all over black uh, pigment uh, that will 
make the rocks look much more complete and much more realistic. If you think about how real rocks look in, in nature, there will be uh, streaks running down them where water and rain have uh, washed uh, the dirt out of the soil above them or uh, out of the rocks themselves, leached out some of the uh, metals in the rocks themselves and those will be streaking down and covering the uh, face of the cliff and that's what we're going to be doing here. We're going to take and we're going to wash the whole thing in black and that will darken it up uh, from where it is. It'll also uh, as, it, as it runs down the face of the cliff, it'll also fill in cracks and crevices. And as it does that, it will increase the realism of the uh, backboard, the backdrop here on the, on the cliff face. Uh, it will darken up the whole thing. Now remember, we've already uh, put a coat of um, scenic cement over this in order to uh, seal in the first secondary and primary coloration that we did. Now on top of that we're going to do this secondary uh, use of the black wash and this secondary use of the black wash at the end is what really finishes it off and makes it look much more realistic. Uh, we need to come down here because the rocks tilt and they overhang so I need to come out here in a few places and get in underneath a little bit. I mixed up uh, extra wash for this last go around so that it will be adequate to really cover just about everything. There won't be too much left in the way of white once we finish this last application. This uh, black wash, you can see now as it runs down in there, how it looks more like a natural cliff and it fills in and completes the coloration that we need. So that is start to finish coloring our rock cliff and uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, invite you to please uh, share this video with anyone else you know that might be into modeling, that might have an interest in it. And I also uh, uh, would appreciate if you like it. Have, click the thumbs up below if you like the video. That's a big boost for me every time it happens. And also uh, subscribe if you haven't already and you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Our next step in this process is going to be putting foliage, uh, shrubbery, bushes, foliage on the cliff faces to fill in and make them look more natural the way you would see in nature. As we finish that up, uh, we'll be using winter foliage and it will really add another dimension to it and, and really make it look quite spectacular, I think, when we get through with it. So as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Bye for now.